Okay, hi guys. So today what we're gonna be making is a super simple crayon. Um, I actually just made this and I think it's pretty simple, but I think it turns out pretty nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and just open up a new scene and then um, go ahead and make a cylinder. I made mine um, one by, let's see, I made the height like 15 to be really tall. Um, just so I could see it and then I, I uh, made the subdivisions also 15 so it just looks a little bit more even okay that's a pretty good size go ahead and move it to the floor so move your Y to half of 15 which is seven and a half um, I don't have my grid on but oh make sure you have the object selected there we go okay so now what we're going to be doing is just go up to the top faces, go into face mode, click Q, hold tab, and select all of them, just like that. Go ahead and then just move them up a little bit. And then we're going to actually be scaling them. So just do R and then you can pull in. As you can see, that's going to be like the tip of your crayon. So make it however wide you want to make it. Um, that looks pretty good. And then go ahead and move it up just a little bit more. So it looks more like a crayon point. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then what you're going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting the faces. Uh, ignore this first row. And select all of the faces going down except for the bottom row. This is going to be like the wrapping going around your crayon. Just make sure that you didn't miss any of the faces looks good go ahead and extrude those and then we're just going to um, thicken it by like 0 0.06 pretty small so now you can see we got kind of like a little wrapper on it which is kind of nice and then this looks pretty good so all we have to do now is just bevel it to follow our three edge rule so um, select the the ring up top Control B to bevel, add two segments, and then um, I want mine kind of kind of tight, so I'm gonna make it pretty small, like 0.15 maybe. If you press three while you're doing this, you can kind of see what it's gonna end up shaping into. Go ahead and go down to your wrapper um, in edge mode and bevel the um, outside part of the wrapper. So Control B do two segments and then yeah it looks pretty good at 0.5 and then just do the bottom side as well of the wrapper so this guy control B two segments at 0.5 and then we can do the bottom and I'll make that a bit tighter too and be like 0.15 again or 0.1 whatever you kind of think is best doesn't have to be exact. Just as long as you like how it turns out. All right, now go into object mode and press three. If you're happy with your results, you can stop now. If not, you can go back and change those um, bevel curves. I like where it's going except for right here. You know how crayons usually have like the cylinder going up and then they go to a point? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bevel this edge, make it two segments, and then just make it like pretty small that way you kind of give it that outer edge like that okay let's see how that looks there we go all right I like how that looks a lot more okay so um, that's basically all it takes to make your crayon um, I'll probably be tackling how to texture it a little bit later in substance painter um, but that's a super simple crayon. I thought it would be really fun to show you guys how to make like a really easy um, Object just kind of play with so let me know what you guys think if I'm skipped anything or it was confusing Let me know and um, Yeah, if you like this video comment below and that whole thing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys